my hair's been growing since I was 13, and so now it's a total of about 15 years since I've had a short haircut. Having hair this long can certainly cause some problems. I've had it caught on a chairlift before, and I couldn't get off the chairlift. I kept going. I always have to braid my hair so that I can at least move. That's the only way Cindy can exercise with her hair tied tightly in a braid. When she wears it down, it gets stepped on quite a bit. And then there's the problem of getting it caught in things, like uh, the dishwasher, or the sofa, or... I've gotten it caught in men's belt buckles just passing by in the street. And it's embarrassing to be unwinding your hair from someone's belt buckle. Then she must go through the never-ending job of taking care of it. Give me a head with hair, long, beautiful hair, shining, gleaming, streaming, flaxing, waxing. Too time-consuming and too impractical at this point. Well, the future for Cindy is bound to read, Hair Today, Gone Tomorrow. She's grown tired of the long hair and wants to cut it. I think when I get my hair cut, I'll go to a, a shoulder length or something right about here so that there's still some hair. Um, I couldn't go too short. I think I would, I'd miss it too much. <laughs> she plans on having it cut on national television this spring. I guess she just couldn't take it any longer. look like tell us the story of the woman with the eight feet of hair <coughs> and you cut it well if you to begin with before i do the story about that i must tell you something in advance not everybody can have hair to the floor not everybody can use half to the floor not everybody can grow hair to the floor yeah. and what happens that this particular young lady she have grown that hair and loved it and all of a sudden she's engaged to somebody who is involved in governmental work and she has to travel with him in trailers. Her hair is eight feet and how can you comb or brush that hair in little tiny trailers? Impossible. So she come to me and asked me to cut it. And I did. And Japanese television covered that. This is in Japanese. That's why we cannot play it for you because you don't speak Japanese. And uh, it broke my heart. That was perhaps the best, the thickest, the shiniest, the nicest hair in the world. And I cut it with love. I want you to know something. The hair is part of you. The, the part that people see, the part that you should love, love and not hate. And this woman loved that hair. If I would have cut it laughingly, dropped it on the floor, I would disrespect her personality, disrespect her and disrespect myself. I cut it with love and saved all that hair nicely. And this was such a wonderful show that Japanese won Amy on that. Well, on Japanese Amy. But this was a difficult emotional experience with this woman, wasn't it? The emotional experience was with all of us. The crew couldn't function until I calmed them down. The producers, directors had to calm down because they, they never seen anything like that. And that's why I like to do this on my home ground. Experience with Moo Moon itself, she was very, very upset to have a haircut to begin with. But then when that was done, her experience was wonderful because I really... She looked so happy.